What's up, guys? <laughs> All right, cut <laughs> that one. Uh, grocery store today. We find ourselves not the gym. Let me show you a little bit of what I, uh, you know, shop to gain muscle, keep the body fat low. What I do to stay on a constant good diet. I have a lot of people ask me, what do I eat? What do I eat? What do I eat? What do I eat? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, the key is for me, even when I train my clients, is to keep it simple. Um, with the proteins, the fats, the carbohydrates. I don't like to go too crazy. Now, if you wanna go crazy with it and make your own recipes and ingredients, you know, you take it from there. Uh, but I'm gonna show you the base uh, and foundation. What the f Somebody, somebody called and I answered and I'm here talking. Thank you to my cameraman, Victor, again. Uh, as you can see, I'm, sh I'm going grocery shopping with a stringer on. So even if I'm not at the gym, I look like I'm going to the gym. <laughs> and a big shout out to Nutrex, which I just signed with them this week. Uh, so you'll see a lot of good stuff. Lipo 6, baby. That's how you burn that fat along with this diet. Fancy music. Right. Since I'm a pretty big guy, we would usually go with this. But I think this looks cuter. So we're <laughs> gonna go with this one today. All right, so first thing I'm gonna be grabbing are my raspberries. Now with fruit, I don't really have a yes or no. I think people could choose whatever fruit they want. Just as long as you like it. Suppose. How do I feel about vegetables? They are much needed. I usually eat very low amounts, uh, just personally me. Uh, but with when I'm recommending it to clients, all this green stuff is good, especially if you mix it in with a protein. Uh, you replace the carbs. For example, instead of eating rice, you could replace it with broccoli or carrots or mixed vegetable mix, which is good. Uh, but I'm not getting that today. Oh yeah. One good. What's your take on avocados? Here we have what I like to consider a healthy fat, which is avocados. As you know, I'm pretty sure you already know, they are good for you. Um, fats are not always bad for you. Healthy fats are actually good, and they help your skin, your hair, um, and your fat cells. So definitely, um, there are not too many options when trying to buy healthy fats but definitely one of the best options is avocados if you can't do that uh, there are still a few other options which hopefully I'll be able to show you so let's keep it going um, so as far as fruits today I didn't really have too many options I usually like strawberries um, as well uh, but I'm not gonna go and get that so I'll keep to my fruits I usually do strawberries raspberries uh, and bananas once in a while uh, for healthy fats we have avocados already let's keep going yeah, I'm sure they're gonna want to know too. Can you eat fruits any time of day? Yes, you can. I eat them any time of the day. Now it's about the quantity that you eat in the day. Um, the sugar people say, "Oh, I don't want to eat sugars." I mean, fruits because of sugar. And honestly, I've never seen anyone gain weight because of eating strawberries or, or raspberries or a banana. Um, it does raise your your blood levels a little bit more because of the natural sugars but it's nothing to, to worry about. So here we have one of the staples for carbohydrates, which are sweet potatoes. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. I know a lot of people who do like them, the few people who don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but these are actually really good. So there's different options when I'm here. I usually go for the darker red ones. These are the Garnet sweet potatoes. These actually are amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a few of those. Really good. Um, I've never tried those. Yeah, I mean, this is this is actually a really good carbohydrate. So then, um, it doesn't matter, you know, as long as you keep the count of the the, the, the amount that you've eaten macros, you should be good. Um, doesn't raise your blood sugar levels at all. And I actually eat these a good amount, and I still lose body fat. So they they are very important. So now we have. What do we have now? Sweet potatoes, carbohydrates, avocados, fats, and I have some raspberry for fruits. Um, let's keep going. 
AJ, does it matter if it's uh, white carbs or brown carbs, the whole weed and white? We have gum. Bazooka. And I might just get some. I'm sorry. I love gum. Now gum is not bad. It's as bad. As, obviously, it's not. It's more of a of a dental risk than a body fat risk. Uh, but for as far as the question for white or the biggest thing is if you mix, for example, white rice with a protein, white rice with chicken, white rice with salmon, you're not gonna have as high of a of a glucose, whatever the sugar. Your your blood sugar won't raise as high. Uh, if you mix it with a protein. If you're just eating white rice by itself, you have more of that risk, which then could turn into uh, fat. But the, the big difference between brown rice, brown rice, and white rice, brown rice is not gonna be crucial, you know, like night and day. So if you could get away with it, try it out. If it works for you, it does. For me, I prefer white rice, so I do it. I don't have a problem eating brown rice. It just takes longer to cook. That's the only thing. AJ, how about some uh, nuts? Now, when I recommend, these are also a source of protein and healthy fats. I mainly recommend almonds. Cashews are great as well. So here, for example, we have unsalted almonds, which are really good. Um, this is probably the go-to when it comes to nuts, unsalted almonds. You could pull off chocolate, you know, flavor and that once in a while. I like to do that to mix it in and give myself some good taste. Here you have the cashews as well, unsalted raw. That's the key, when buying these, you wanna make sure that they're as natural as possible. There's no point in shoving in a bunch of amounts of, of almonds and, and, and cashews and whatnot, especially when they're high in sodium. My favorite type of rice is jasmine to cook. Like I said, jasmine white, because it cooks so fast and it tastes so good. But you also have brown rice. Um, I always would pick white rice because I don't see a big difference. When training clients, I usually have them start off with brown rice. Now for this, brown rice, because that way I can see how they react. And then I try them, I make them try white rice. So a lot of people lately, this is, I guess they ran out of the regular one, have been talking about quinoa. It is a lot healthier. When I look at here, let's see. The big difference is fiber. You have more fiber and it does have some protein, uh, which is weird for rice. But if I'm gonna rely on a rice for protein, then I'm doing, I, I'm, I think I'm doing things wrong. So I'd rather just, like I said, Keep it simple for me. That's what works for me. about milk? You drink a lot of milk? If I do, it's zero fat milk or almond milk. Um, other than that, then cereal, another good option, obviously, are your oatmeal, cream of wheat, rolled oats. These, I, now, for me, I usually buy the ones where you could do in the microwave. One, two, three, boom. I don't like spending too much time on that. Um, and, and that's that. Also, for my clients, I recommend those. And they do a good job at, at, you know, it's easier throughout the day to have these packets ready to go and throw them in the microwave and uh, that's it. You know, that's another source of carbohydrate. Right so here we have our organic eggs. One of the best choices for proteins, I think. Um, if you didn't know, egg whites have the highest uh, rate of amino acids. So what does that mean? It just means it's good. $16. It's expensive chicken, bro. But <laughs> gotta get your protein. 
<laughs> Obviously chicken, one of the go-to. I don't have to say much about chicken. Obviously everyone knows that is the protein. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and purchase this today, but another Another option you might, you, you would want to have, obviously, you have the tilapia. I only buy this fresh when it comes to seafood or the salmon. It's pretty good. Two great choices for protein there. Um, so usually chicken, tilapia, salmon, lean ground turkey, and then you have your red meat, such as the sirloin. I do a lot of sirloin and uh, lean ground beef. 90, it's, I think it's 90% usually. So. There you go, tilapia, the salmon, and I'm take. I have the chicken today. Now these are the red meats we have here. Obviously, filet mignon would be my favorite, but I said I always usually go with sirloin. Um, and if I'm feeling fancy, I'll take a New York strip. And here's another great option the extra lean ground sirloin. But I don't need any of this right now. I have some at home. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys to make sure that you do know um, that you could eat red meats. I would usually keep it to one or two times a week and that's it. <laughs> Alright guys, that was pretty simple. Uh, got a few things, pissed a few people off like always. Um, it was fun, you know, I, I, I know that I'm not the greatest uh, nutritional, I didn't set this up, this was kind of like a last minute thing, but I just wanted you guys to see a little bit of what I did and what I got and, and, and what I do. Uh, so I'll write it on the, on the information tabs, just make sure you look, I'll write down everything that I buy. Um, and comment any questions that you guys have make sure you you share this video to spread a little bit of awareness and if you have any questions uh let me know so hell yeah